art aficionados wouldn't find it difficult to guess who we are meeting next. None other than Mr. Vibhor Sugani, whose stainless steel sprouts have become synonymous with the identification of Delhi. Let's know more from the man himself. Childhood was uh, quite regular, I would say. I was born in Jaipur, did my schooling in Jaipur. But of course, uh, I did not really enjoy studying per se. And I, I kept uh, looking for some way to get out. And I got to know about NID. And uh, that was, in fact, that came as a blessing because I, I got in. And then this journey started. I was there after school in NID for uh, over five years. Learning didn't come through books or through education. It was just a process and it was a very casual process. Without realizing we were working, we were absorbing, we were engaging. I think somewhere that kick-started, this whole process um, kick-started there at a very subconscious level and we started enjoying uh, and engaging with uh, experimental work with different mediums. Before we knew, we were out in the in the big bad, bad world. So my first artwork or the series of artworks that I made were in 2007-8 when I was asked to develop some uh, artworks and by the way that was uh, the offer came from Indil Sinless to create a series of artworks for a show and uh, that is the first time I drifted from design into art. Initial years were a little awkward in the sense that uh, we we were groping in the dark. We were not regular uh, types who would look for a, you know a job in an industry or um, a corporate setup. Setup. So we we had this idea that we wanted to do this, that, and the other. A lot of different things, variety. Okay. So therefore, uh, at least I started uh, my own studio, okay. and that of course doesn't come easy because because you have just stepped out of a college and you are broke and you. You know, you have to earn, plus you are groping in the dark. So it was a lot of fun though. But by and by, I think our journey got more and more interesting because it started projects started trickling in. Initial projects which came my way were very, very varied. After working like that for a few years, I realized that, okay, I need to get back to what I really cherish to do, what I really enjoy doing. When I got into, let's say, creations of art in steel, there weren't that many people in this space, in this category. Uh, which was also an advantage for me. Yeah. While, of course, I, uh, it comes with certain challenges, it, the advantages were that I could uh, be early mover advantage, of course. Sprouts was very important and, of course, uh, very interesting when it came by. The then Chief Minister, uh, Srimati Sheila Dixit, she wanted something different in the aims uh, that roundabout. And uh, the, the kind of brief which I, I got was from the wall city to world city. You know, that was one of the lines that she said and I picked up. And her thing was that when we travel abroad, we see so many exciting things and we wonder why, uh, why aren't we creating something on those lines or something abstract but with a meaning. So that's when I showed her sprouts. And uh, this is, was again with uh, the Jindal stainless. I've had a very close relationship with Jindal Stainless and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a very fruitful journey, so to say. The story behind Sprouts is that we as a country, we are now taking off. We are now sprouting as a nation. So I showed uh, Mr. Dikshit this uh, model. This is exactly where it all started and uh, she liked the whole thought and the whole idea behind it because it had a message. It was abstract. We also had a huge area to cover. We had literally three plus three, six acres of land to cover. So there I could actually, you know, create a low uh, version, which is from six to nine feet on one side. And then again, go take it, take one cluster as high as 40 feet on the other side from the road level. Since we work on commission projects, uh, normally there is a, there's a space and there is some kind of a context within which we create artworks. It has to perform uh, in tandem with some other aspects. You know, the, the architect or the landscape person has already planned a few things, so it has to sit within that scenario. That gives a bit of a direction to uh, the situation. 
and then again uh, i think uh, nature for example is a great uh, friend because more often than not i think nature offers you you know some mature thoughts or an, an idea and you can take off from there sometimes even a word can be useful in terms of you know triggering conceiving a triggering triggering a thought so there is nothing fixed and i don't have a a standard way of approaching uh, it it just happens it just happens very comfortably very casually what is it that we can comfortably and practically do given the time frame given the uh, infrastructure all of that so i think somewhere the summation of all of that results in a work which is uh, then produced there can be two approaches to doing art one is reactive where there is a commission project uh, there is a space which is given to you and you are asked to create something within a context or there could be a thought which uh, you know which you get some day and it just kicks in a brain wave and uh, maybe proactive approach over there where you actually reach out and say hey this is possible this is what can be done i believe in both there have been times when i've taken a pre pro proactive approach and uh, uh, reached out to the potential client uh, stakeholders and uh, created something it has actually converted into a project thereafter it's just that you start doing that kind of proactive uh, you know you, you take that proactive approach a little later when you feel a little more confident that you can you can reach out and talk about something yeah. which you believe in the first few artworks that i created uh the sizes the finishes you know material handling was of course like it happens with every material that was a bit of a challenge but having crossed that you know that that uh, uh, barrier then it became easy then it became easy and uh, i think till date i keep experimenting with the material because that is one of my muses i think the design students the art students are getting more and more comfortable with this material so i see many more people engaging with this material and therefore i think uh, we will see a lot more use of the material in times to come nobody has to do anything it will happen on its own because it's already happening it's not easy to uh, choose one and uh, it is not also easy to you know to to uh, to say which one you enjoyed most but you know uh, there are projects which are fairly challenging on different parameters but one project which comes to my mind at the moment is uh, the series on mahatma gandhi see i am an an abstract artist i like to work in an abstract manner but with mahatma gandhi whose form whose picture is so so clear in everybody's mind internationally how do you how do you do justice to that and yet remain abstract yet how do i perform within my space with my comfort zone and yet you know deliver something of such significance so that was a great challenge for me how it came out how it panned out was also very nice because uh, that series evolved very differently from the rest of my works and i also enjoyed the process of creation so when i started doing uh, projects independent projects as a freelancer uh, in different spaces um, i felt uh, a strong attraction towards uh, this material stainless steel because i think it offered a whole lot of things which i which i kind of liked the shine the matte finish the textures the strength all of that was uh, interesting because using those qualities i could uh, you know scale up i could do projects which were in the outdoors because steel again is a outdoor friendly material um there was one more aspect as an industrial designer i was comfortable with stainless steel because stainless steel requires uh, some some machining some industrial uh, i think intervention outside india stainless steel in art forms has been more established so it wasn't uh, uh, it's been there for years and the reactions per se internationally has been more normal compared to the kind of uh, reactions stainless steel tends to evoke in india it's a little newer material for the masses as art forms in public spaces my journey in this space of art installations is getting exciting because one i am also now mixing light and art 
so light installations is what I call it. So that is one part of my journey, which is bringing in some uh, newness and challenge for me. Uh, second is I am now one getting bigger scale projects uh, with larger scale. Second, I am also taking more of a proactive approach at times, more comfortably.